Hello, I'm Dr. Andrew Kaunitz, an obstetrician gynecologist with the University of Florida College of Medicine in Jacksonville. I'd like to talk to you about the use of ultrasound in women using Mirena. Because Mirena contains a steroid reservoir, the use of detecting Mirena in the uterus has been questioned by some practitioners. In this portion of the presentation, I will show you that, in fact, Mirena is clearly visible with use of transvaginal ultrasound. Routine sonography is not necessary following insertion of Mirena. However, the use of transvaginal sonography is an invaluable tool when the position of Mirena inside the uterus needs to be evaluated. For example, this procedure can verify the correct fundal position of the IUS if, at the follow-up visit, the threads are no longer visible on speculum examination or if the length of the threads has changed. I will show the landmarks that will facilitate the adequate visualization of Mirena during the ultrasound procedure. Now let's begin. My assistant Christy will be performing the transvaginal ultrasound procedure. As you can see with this sagittal or long view, the superior component of Mirena is located in proximity to the fundal portion of the endometrium. Note the fundal serosal surface of the uterus and the fundal component or top of the endometrial cavity. Also note the superior component of the Mirena device in relation to the fundal component of the endometrial cavity and the appearance of Mirena threads in the endocervical canal. Upon further viewing, the top of the Mirena system is visible. However, with further adjustment of the transducer, you can see an even more distinct image of Mirena. 3D imaging, if available, provides yet another modality to accurately assess the position of Mirena. In this particular patient, the correct fundal positioning of Mirena is clearly demonstrated with the use of the 3D technique. If partial or complete expulsion is suspected, vaginal sonography is also invaluable. Note that the Mirena in this patient is displaced into the lower segment of the uterus and the intrauterine system would have to be removed. Again, routine sonography is not suggested after every Mirena placement. However, if you suspect that Mirena is displaced, not in the desired position, then transvaginal sonography may prove an effective and beneficial tool to determine if Mirena requires removal or if in fact the system is in appropriate high fundal position.